Hello, happy Saturday. Good morning from the Barn Church, where we are today uh, at our NCT, um, which for American people, neonatal class, prenatal, I should say, um, which uh, lasts all day today, so it just breached lunchtime, and uh, seems some nice people, and you know, it's... <laughs> I have mixed feelings about NCT. There's definitely some useful information, of course there is. Um, but it's also, you know, it's, it's all a bit much. And, and even though the steering is more subtle than it used to be, there is a bit of steering, which I don't like, which is about someone else's perception of what's better or worse. They do always say, you know, mother's choice, mother's choice, and that is true. But, um, I don't think anyone can help it. I think it's instinctive. If you've had children of your own, then you have a feel for what you think is right. Um, that's just how it is. But um, I'm naturally resistant to that kind of thing, let's say. Anyway, um, it's lunchtime and I've just come out to a bit of fresh air and we're gonna kick back off at 1.40. It's very, very windy today indeed. It's calmed down a little. Overnight it was a bit crazy and uh, I'll see you again when, once uh, today is done. Welcome to another episode of Toby Stupid Vlog. So obviously I'm in queue, but um, I'm walking through queue to get to the towpath <laughs> so I can go around and meet Crystal after her pregnancy yoga, which happens down at Richmond Community College. So it is obviously August and therefore it's super busy. So I'm not gonna stand and wait and watch. Let's go power on through. <laughs> Get some few steps in because I started this month, like obviously in Switzerland and was doing a lot of walking and it has tailed off and I don't feel good about that. Like my back literally feels bad about it, so. I'm going to do something about it. Still a bit windy today, but as you can see, the parterre, this garden in front of the palm house, looks amazing. Good work, everyone. That's just about as fast as you can get through queue from one side to the other. It's about five minutes or so, which is not bad. And here we are on the towpath. I'm just walking down to Old Deer Park, and then I can cut through from there. It's super busy everywhere. I mean, it's the weekend and it's summer holidays. I shouldn't be surprised. And the weather's actually not bad. I mean, yes, there are waves on the Thames. That's, you know, a bit alarming, but it's a bit blustery. It's like October wind in August, but actually helps a bit. Keeps you cool when the sun's out. Probably burn to an absolute crisp. Just reached Scion House, which is over there. But what's actually unusual is this is the bit, the towpath, where when you look to your left, you see everyone in Kew Gardens looking at you. <laughs> There's not many people have got down this end at the moment. The land train's gone past. Weird being on the outside looking in. I love it when you get to the gardens and there's a bit like this. Gap between the planes, no people. It's lovely. I'm just trying to do some steps. I've been in all day working. Crystal's been at home. She had her GP appointment for 32 weeks and it's been a sort of moderately productive but quite sedentary day and Saturday was very sedentary as well. So you didn't see any of NCT and you only got my brief explanation at lunchtime and you only saw a very small clip of Sasha's birthday. We were completely knackered that day and I know that that sounds silly because you know a foreshadowing of what's to come that really wasn't a lot but actually you know what it is it's the learning it's sitting down for six hours six and a half hours on a Saturday and having to concentrate that's what ultimately does it and we were knackered and by the time we got to the party we were kind of a bit wiped out yeah I'm lost in the redwoods um so yeah that was Saturday and Sunday we went into Kingston and was a bit more productive but um yeah today sitting down again has not helped so this is why I'm out and about it is a week of many things so um 
mostly parade or um, summer chime at Chiswick House related. That's what I'll be filming on Friday night. Um, that's a Western sword fern, just so you know. I mean, I don't know where it is. Maybe that's it. That's more likely. Um, so yeah, it's a lot of um, filming and editing week, really, um, with a little web vid catch up on Thursday night. So I'm going to carry my little walk, see how I'm doing steps wise, and uh, we'll reconvene later. I was just looking the other way on this a uh, couple of clips ago from the footpath and Sarn House into Kew. And now I'm going the other direction on the other side of the fence. Such is life. Timing is everything. That's the weather we were having. This is the weather we're now getting. It pays to go out as soon as the front passes and just trust. Trust the wind direction. It's now very nice. It's even a little warm. A large bird of prey. Just sitting here, chilling. Minds his own business. Trying to find a fish, presumably. Let's see, it's pretty nice. It's after six, everyone's leaving. Last entry's at six, so gardens are emptying and the sun's come out. It's all about making sure you're here when nobody else is. And coming and enjoying the hive in all its glory. And there's quite a lot of it today when the sun's shining. And also the fact that no one's up here because it's wet. It's great. Anyway, enough strolling around because I've done quite a lot of it. I need to go home and have some dinner. The sun reflecting off the lake and then hitting the pine needles or actually I'm not quite sure what tree that is. The leaves let's say. Morning. Um, happy Tuesday. Uh, this is East Sheen Common. I'm just going for a walk as always. Uh, this morning I'm going to Kingston to pick something up from the jewellers and then this afternoon I have a project I need to work on for this Friday's uh, summer chime at Chiswick House, which I'm filming. So I've got plenty to be getting on with, as always. Next week feels a bit sort of empty by comparison, but honestly, I welcome it. <laughs> I've got quite a lot of my, on my plate at the moment, and I can tell by the way that I'm sleeping and <laughs> the general lack of calm. So I'm hoping next week is a little quiet. Luckily, I still do get time to go for walks like this, even when it is a bit hectic because I can work any time of day or night. So I do appreciate that. In the summer, it's very nice. Do you remember at the start of the year when I was all like, oh my God, there's so many trips coming up. I got all these trips, blah, blah, blah. Well, the long and the short of it is they're all done except one. One didn't happen. That was the Russia one. Bit of a shame, but as it turned out, not sure I would have had time anyway. Um, but the last one, the one remaining, is the trip to the United States for London's New Year's Day Parade. And that is happening on the 11th of September until the 21st, I think. And we are going to Florida, Costa Rica, Tennessee, Oklahoma, West Virginia, uh, Georgia, and New York. I think that's everywhere. So, um, central and east again. Um, should be interesting. I hope it is as fun as it was last time, albeit exhausting. It was very good, very interesting to see that part of the world. Driving around the United States is a real pleasure. Um, because there's just so much countryside and nothing. Um, flying around the United States is a necessity for some journeys, <laughs> especially when you have to get out to Oklahoma. But yeah, anyway, that's a month from now. Um, I'll update you close to the time when I know more details because at the moment there's sort of disparity between where we're going and what we want to film. So that will hopefully be resolved soon-ish. It's pretty nice out here. 
it's quite something to have this on your doorstep. I was going to come back again this afternoon, but um, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to now because I need to go and film something. But you know, bill paying and that, so can't complain too much. It is work. But anyway, I'm going to make the most of it while I can be out here. Well, it's beautiful today. It's going to be beautiful again on Thursday, but I'll be filming. And tomorrow, I fear, I may be trapped indoors by more October weather coming two months early. I haven't actually filmed anything today for the vlog. I've filmed loads of stuff, just not for the vlog. So this is the grounds of Chiswick House. Behind the teepees, there's a big stage. Uh, you probably can't see it. I promise it's big. There you go. Um, so that's what I'm filming tomorrow. From a chime. It's a concert where the proceeds go to Chill My Cancer. So that's what I've been working on video wise as well. So um, this morning I was doing something completely different. I was in central London. I was filming a church and a concert venue for the New Year's Day parade highlights package. One of one of I should say. I mean I'm I must have done a dozen at this point. Um, so I've been out and about doing all sorts. Thought I might get to do some drone footage of the Chiswick House, but no, a lot of paperwork involved and not enough time. So I am now heading back because I have to render a couple of videos out and then I'm getting on a train and going back into London for a web vid get together shenanigans. Um, so it's quite a tiring day but <laughs> hoping this evening is going to be enjoyable and maybe not relaxing but certainly a change of pace. I reckon that's maybe mushroom. I thought Barristor got doubled. That's what I ended up taking. Minor cheese fries, minor cheese fries, they're mine. Yeah, you can, yes, Stop cheese runs through your veins. The car was flipped onto the back, it would just turn out to be that colour. I run going into the sauce bag. Yeah. Oh, this is going in our web video, yeah. by the way. Hi, yes. stealing all your footage now. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> 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 there's always one, isn't yeah, there? And, and it's always Neil. <laughs> 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 I put ice cream on a cold. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. 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 Are you still cold? I'm cold, but ice cream is nice. Good morning. Please excuse the fact that I look like I've just got out of bed, because I haven't. It was literally two hours ago, but I've been sat here in front of my laptop working on things all morning. Also, excuse the bear. He's exhausted too. Um, so today was going to be super busy um, because I had to do uh, two parade videos. I had to finish those. Just done that in the last half an hour and sent them off. So that's good. And then I had to do the four videos for the Chiswick House uh, Children with Cancer concert, uh, where I was yesterday doing a recce. Um, they didn't need many changes. I'd done most of them yesterday, but I had to then render them out and export them, which, if you know, uh, video editing can be a very time-intensive process because uh, with those, there were a lot of graphics and the computer had to chug through them slowly. So that's why I was up. I was ready to do all that. And um, I started, I'd done most of the graphics and I was just putting everything in into a render queue so you can queue all the files you want to export and then you hit go and then the computer just gets on with it. Open the queue, that's all good. Phone call goes, whole concert is off. So that's changed today a little. Now, the reason it's off, um, ostensibly, is because the weather today is... It's starting to rain about now. It's looking very grey out. And it's going to get really heavy by 5, 6 o'clock when the gate's due to open. And then be heavy all the way through to about 10pm when the concert finishes. And then just carry on raining a little bit after that. So broadly speaking, the weather has conspired to be the absolute perfectly worst it can be. So I don't know what I'm going to do with myself now because I've got a lot of time. I'll have to think about that. As it's Friday and I really haven't done anything apart from stare at a screen because it's terrible weather that is forecast, isn't it? Oh, it's not quite terrible at the moment. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, too late. Um, 
yeah, I haven't really been out, so I've just come out to buy some things for dinner because I wasn't expecting to be at home. And uh, yeah, the thing is now, every time I leave the house and I bump into a neighbour, several of them in the stairwell, as it were, there's eight flats linked. Um, and it's now kind of, everyone's like, oh, when's a baby due? How are you doing? Get used to not sleeping. I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> but it's like suddenly, um, you know, being expectant father means that your talk, <laughs> talk of this stairwell, as it were. So, um, yeah. So I need to do a word of the week because of that. Uh, it's Friday, as I said, and I hadn't done well up to this point. So um, I'm going to do father the father the dad if you will so first of all in german the father is der vater der vater that is father in german very straightforward and if you're in grandfather you'd say großvater so it's very just builds in that way as it were and in italian um it is il padre il padre is the father in italian you'll notice obviously these two nouns are masculine in both languages. There is some common sense with European verbs, at least. So there we go. That was father in German and Italian. And that was this week's word of the week.